All right, now, before we even start foxing with anything, you're going to want to make a backup of your RADS folder, just as I have. Now, mine is under my C drive. As you see, I made a backup already of my RADS folder. Now, this is just a safety precaution, just in case anything was to go bonkers or ever does. We will have our backup folder to fall back on. So make sure you back up your RADS folder. It's very important that you do that. So let's move on. Okay, here we are at the new League Craft website. New design and all. And here is the new download button. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I tried to download it, from here it wouldn't let me so I looked at the comments and what do we have right here an alternative download link big thanks to rockjock51 I have the link to the updated UI in the description box now our next step that we want to do is we're gonna update the client SIU to the latest version just to get it out of the way so go ahead and download that I already have it so I don't need it again so once you have it downloaded you're gonna open up the folder now we're going to select all the contents in the updated SIU client and let's open up our Perv UI folder and we're going to drag all the files from the updated version of SIU into the old version which is SIU 3.297 we just drag them in there click yes check that box do this for all current items now I already did this so I don't need to do it again. Now once we're done with that, we're going to rename this folder to the current version of SIU, which is 3.328. Hmm. Now I'm just checking to see that all the files are in here which they are sorry I'm paranoid like that anyways let's move to the next step which includes fixes to resize the vendor window and moving the party unit frames and etc etc now we're gonna go ahead and click perp UI resolutions and you're going to select your monitors resolution that you play LOL on. Now, since I myself play on 1366 by 768, that's the one I'll be editing. And go ahead and click it. I'm going to open HUD resolutions defaults with WordPad. And you can use any text editor of your choice. Alright, our first fix is the item shop, which is the vendor you buy all your gear from. And it's the second line. The scale is 0 0.6. This is what we're gonna change it to. We're gonna go ahead and remove this and change it to a 1. Next up we're gonna change the mini map size it's just way too huge Magilla gorilla status and we're gonna change it to what's the number 0 0.8 or if you want it even just a tiny bit smaller you would change it to the other numbers 0.7 point but for me this is just good right here 0 0.8 point 
perfect size not too big not too small just right all right next up on the to change list is the party unit frames we're gonna change them back to the default location now for whatever reason you can't find anything whenever in your text editor hit control and F at the same time to bring up the search function then type it in and then it'll teleport you to your destination now here we are at team frame we're gonna change the R to a capital L and we're going to change the X position to a zero and we're also going to change the Y position to a 10 just like that all right let's see what else oh the target HUD frame this is for when you have an enemy targeted or a torrent we're gonna change that so buffs won't overlap on our team frames Here it is right here. Okay, change the X position to a four and the Y position to a zero. Looking goop, looking goop. Ah, here's the last one, the scoreboard. Change the one to a six. And once all done, we're gonna go ahead and save our changes. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step and we can close this once I'll save so we can proceed on to the next step now let's go ahead and go back to our perp UI folder All right, we're going to go into the SIU folder and we're going to click on Skin Installer Ultimate. So scroll down and this is the one we want right here. Notice it's the one with the spaces. Now I know there was some people out there that couldn't even drag the files into SIU. And for some damn reason, if you run SIU as admin, it won't let you drag files into it. Strange. So we're not going to run it as admin. But instead, we're going to double click it. And it should work just fine. You'll be able to drag files into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and let it load. Now, we're going to drag our native resolution that we play League of Legends on into SIU this box pops up just pick the first option click yes on all prompts and you can name it whatever you like I just leave it as the default again click I'm done naming it whatever you like okay on all prompts now we're gonna go back to our perb UI folder and before we install the perb UI core we're just gonna wait a little bit on that and we're gonna go ahead and click perb UI black borders highlight all these files copy them and go inside perb UI core and go inside the menu and right click and paste do this for all files overwriting yes now what this is gonna do is give us a sleeker more sexy as UI which is gonna look overall better now right here you have options for your health bars now personally I like the blue with the black borders so that's the one I'm going to install if you want to install any of the other ones just uh, copy it just like I'm about to do right here 
and paste it curve UI images folder right click paste copy and replace and there we go we got new health bars now we can finally drag the Perv UI core into SIU click OK we successfully added 44 files okay leave it as default or name it whatever you want click OK again now we can finally install the UI check both of these boxes and go ahead and click install make sure you have install new menu and text mods check before you proceed it's very important that you have this check so just make sure you have that check click save click OK now we're gonna wait for it to install real quick click OK now Perv UI is fully installed with fixes and new health bars awesome awesome to the max now if you followed the guide fully your UI should look like mine now I'm going to run lol and show you some of the changes we applied and they fix here and there okay here we are in a custom bot game which is what I suggest you do to see if all is installed right now first thing you notice is the right UI HUD wall now to get rid of it all you have to do is go to more options and check it and hit OK and there you go we got rid of that hideous thing and as you see we have the party unit frames in the default location the map has been resized we got perfect UI borders and what else did we fix? Oh, the, the Titan bar can be minimized and unminimized just by clicking the corner. And also the retreat and alert buttons are automatically hidden. I just use macros for that. And let's see, the chat window, if it's off, all you have to do is scoot it up a little bit and it will always stay like that what else did we fix oh the vendor window let's check that out as you see it has been resized so it's not all small now it's a perfect size readable and also the scoreboard has been resized so now we can actually see all these things so everything has been resized and uh, everything is good. Another question I get ever so often is my camera won't follow me. All you have to do is press Y on your keyboard to lock it on your character. Now if that does not lock then you need to look at your key bindings reconfigure them well I think that covers it all oh shit wait I was going to add how to increase the font size in this video but Riot made it somewhat of a real hassle to edit that and I didn't want to make this video any longer I'll post a link to a guide on how to do that so if you have any questions troubles or you just want to go pick up some space hose hit me up Yes, bitch, suck it, suck my ultimate.